it, it was a boarding school that I went to in Hong Kong called the United World Colleges and we get our mail at 2.30 in the afternoon and my friend came up running with this envelope and it was my first acceptance and it was from Bath. And in the next few days I have to work on a presentation for my business. I have to worry about um, coordinating the individual departments of the business, finding out um, what's been going on in each department, what the problems have been, what the solutions have been, things like that. My boyfriend and I started an art marketing um, and distribution company for young, talented artists. And basically, we recruit artists um, all over the country to promote their work, their work through magazines, news articles, and on the web. One of our professors says uh, that everything takes four times as long and costs twice as much as you had anticipated, and uh, he's right. And a gross profit of $35,000? You're in a business program, and you're in a group with a bunch of students that are all studying business. So even though you're looking at speech and, and arts and humanities and history and society, there's still a sort of business overtone to it all. FME stands for Foundation Management Experience, but it's a course all freshmen take, um, and it's a year-long course. And as part of that course, we teach the basics of management and information systems, information technology. What it does is it provides a platform for them to take the theory that they learn and actually apply it in a real business setting. The first semester was pretty much they told us everything we need to know about running our own business. Marketing, finance, accounting, information systems. And then we got to apply it. And it was actually they prepared us very nicely. We got there, we knew exactly what to expect. Alrighty. My group is called Trendy Threads. Um, it's an FME business that works with surplus and vintage clothing. We're involved in something called Advantage Advertising. Uh, what we did is went out and marketed uh, a product towards businesses. My FME business is composed of 30 people and it's a, a discount card company. We have a convenience store. We also have care packages and a discount card for the Wellesley area. We've just expanded to children's clothing and we're selling it to daycare centers and children's stores. I'm the COO, so the Chief Officer of Operations. Uh, my job is basically to make sure everything works, goes well. I think we've made about $1,500 so far, which will go towards our community service project. And we've chosen to start a SAD chapter on campus, which is Students Against Destructive Behaviors. Anything after our costs, we will donate to community service. And our community service is the Boston Food Bank. And all our profits go to um, a charity institution called Pine Street Inn, which helps um, homeless people. Yeah. We referred to the course initially as a boot camp, at least the first term. We overload them, we just work their buns off, and, it's a, and they hear from sophomores and above that this is a heavy course. And that's good, because business is serious, it, uh, it takes a lot of effort, and we literally pound 10 pounds in a five pound bag. So that we could start making more calls to increase the percentages of businesses that we get. He sees himself as an individual again, or at least he wants to see himself. Eight on the first product. I mean, they should be getting there probably today, maybe tomorrow. Four. Yep. I think there's a misconception about business students. In fact, I fight this all the time. The assumption that they're 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 completely you know self singly directed, Three, four. that they're uh, not interested in anything but business, it's not true at all. What I've been really impressed with at Babson is uh, liberal arts, all encompassing the liberal arts you need to take during your first year. I would have thought beforehand that I never you know why do I even need to bother with uh, taking you know liberal arts classes? I can. You know, read on my own, and I don't need to do this. I'm here for a business education, but it really did prove how you know important that was, and how much fun it could be. 
the arts have everything to say to business leadership. Creativity, the ability to deal with ambiguity, all, all of these things that allow people to truly take risks and be creative are very directly tied to the arts. One, two, all right? And then we're three, four. If we really want to be honestly able to say that we're sending business leaders out into the world, well, leaders have to have certain skills that aren't simply learning the numbers and the formulas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They also have to understand people and themselves. Six, seven, yeah. One, two, three, four. It's an environment that's creative and really encourages people to think creatively. I think that's part of the entrepreneurial spirit here. We have outside companies that may ask us uh, for students to serve as consultants to them on a particular project. The project is defined very carefully. We bring great outside speakers, like the president of PepsiCo, into our college. Uh, to interact with the students. 95% of our students have jobs within six months of uh, their graduation. Last year we had over 400 opportunities, uh, folks coming to campus to recruit Babson students. And what are some of those new markets? I think Julie had some good news about some of those new markets. If you raise the bar and you provide a lot of help, students will rise to that. And we've discovered that that's the case. You guys got to turn earlier. See the ball when you're coming down court. They're going to throw it up court. You're listening to Babson College Radio's world premiere of the... We actually launched uh, something called Babson College Radio over the last couple months, and we worked pretty hard at getting that started over the first semester and rather quickly turned it around and are now operating uh, throughout the school and also through the Internet. Patronize the house of Marcus Lycus. I'm involved in uh, the Babson Players, and we're doing a play, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum right now. <laughs> so all that stuff all together keeps me pretty busy. <laughs> She says she feels like she learned a lot of things there. The Black Student Union pretty much acts as a support group for black students here at Babson. Um, we organize alumni relations as well as activities on campus and um, intercollegiate activities with schools like MIT and Wellesley, which are pretty close to here. I'm gonna move in here. I want to sing to next year, y'all. Nine three three. Babson has a wide variety of students coming in from a huge number of countries. Often students tend to get lost because they have their own individual identities and then when they come into a community like Babson's where everything's integrated, it's important that they still retain their identities. So I enjoy working with the international group as well. <laughs> Beginning of the year um, is really difficult. Everyone said the first few weeks can be really tough. You're gonna go into this place you don't know, you don't know anybody. First night you're sleeping in bed, a bed you've never slept in before, and three roommates I had and didn't know either of them. And then going to classes, never had a syllabus before. We get all these syllabi from all the classes, list a million different things we have to do. So I just felt like I was in a dark corner with no way out. Thank you. Have a good one. Me too. Plus we have our business. We're trying to run, make sure it works, and maintain good customer relations. So it is, it's very time consuming, but it's worth it.
be surprised. It's actually not as hard. It's, once you get into a routine, things start to go pretty well. My roommates are great. Everyone I've met, the professors are really nice and friendly, willing to talk to you at any time. So I've been really, really glad about that. I was kind of nervous whether or not the people here would accept me, but they're really great. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Advantage Advertising final presentation. There is, um, I would say, probably more than most schools, there's the entrepreneurial spirit. Let me get in and do it. Let me touch it, see it, feel it. Um, and so I think that that predominates in our students. So they like that. They like the hands-on. This is a data flow diagram. Or one the of difference the between the fall the formal presentations and the spring is remarkable. How they pull it all together. I mean, we tease them about getting dressed up and looking so handsome dressed up. But their polish, what they put together, how proud they are of the business that they've managed to run, that they've worked together as a team, and they made money. They can pay back their loan. It wasn't easy, but they rose to the challenges. So that is a summary of how, where IT stood with Advantage Advertising. So with all this discouragement... They have problems and they have critical issues, and part of the learning experience is to have them live it. And then when they live it and find out that, oops, we goofed here, now how are you going to get out of it? Uh, this is very important for us from a pedagogical or teaching point of view. I'm from Advantage Advertising, a student-run business at Babson College. They could go out today and actually run a business. That sounds like a great idea. Come in and we'll go over the details. Well, has it been effective? They know how to start it up. Uh, they know how to create a marketing plan, a business plan, to use the tool of the computer. You've all done a great job. Um, you all deserve a good round of applause. So these young people now are no longer are freshmen. They're really prepped young business people. That's the fun of it. Or, or, no, j just be like, just this, okay. Okay, well. How about something like this? Which side do you want me to hear, then? I want to be like, one, two, jump. <laughs> one, two, three. Hey, whoa, 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 we did it. All right. That's all right. Really? I'm doing summer, summer um, beach, beach. Uh -huh. yeah. I like. Like what? I like which one? Put the 110 on there, 120. Yeah, if you get the 120 in, that'd be great. Yes. I want you to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you lean, and then I'll stop. But I'll, what if I lean back a little bit? Maybe I can. This is going nowhere good. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this can end well. I have a feeling when you play Twister and everything. 